so for those of you who have just joined, um, you're going to need a journal or a pen and paper and then um, a touchstone if you have one. So again, a touchstone can be um, a physical item like a stone, a candle, um, incense, anything that you can um, look at or feel and that serves as a reminder. So this is how our night's gonna go. Our whole ceremony will be about half an hour. Hi, Lena, welcome. Um, will be about half an hour. So we're gonna do a brief grounding exercise and then we'll move into um, a journaling exercise. And then from there we'll do a visualization and then an exiting um, grounding. So make yourself comfortable, get yourself into a comfortable seat, hi. Um, grab a journal if you're just popping on or a piece of pen and paper and we'll get started with some grounding. So either close your eyes or just look softly to the floor ahead of you. Make yourself nice and comfortable. And we'll just start by taking a couple of deep breaths in and out of the nose. Start to feel where your body is connected with your seat. Checking in with your breath. Not doing anything to change your breath at this time. Instead, just observe. Notice the length and depth of your inhale. Notice the length and depth of your exhale. As well as the length and depth of the pause or the transition between the breath. The transition from inhale to exhale. And the transition from exhale to inhale. And then we'll include a breathing exercise called Samavritti. This means balanced flow. And there's no contraindications to this breath, so anyone can participate. First, start by breathing in and out of the nose. And then draw your breath in for four counts and exhale for four counts. So the inhale and exhale are the same length. If you notice that after a few rounds, 
the count feels a bit too long, then you can use a three count breath. Or if you notice that the count feels a bit too short, then you can use a five or six count breath. We want the breath and the rhythm to be sustainable. So as you're breathing, we're going to check in with the four major centers of the body and search for an intuition or an intention. If you don't already have an intention with you coming into the call or into the, the meditation, maintaining this cyclical four count breath Bring your attention into your pelvis, the very base of the spine. Checking in with your sex center. You can pay attention to any emotions that are there any physical sensations or thoughts. Ask this center, what do I want to leave behind with this lunar cycle or with this year? And wait for a response. Now ask this center, what do I want to carry forward with this new lunar cycle and this new year? Draw your attention now into your belly, the space that's above the pelvis but below your rib cage. Checking in with your gut. Ask your gut. What do I want to leave behind with this lunar cycle? Ask your gut, what do I want to carry forward with this new lunar cycle? Now checking in with your heart. So the space at the center of the chest, your rib cage, your heart center. Ask your 
ask your heart, what do I want to leave behind with this lunar cycle? Ask your heart center, what do I want to carry forward with this new lunar cycle? Drawing your awareness now to the center of your brow your intuitive center, your mind. Ask your intuition, your mind, what do I want to leave behind with this lunar cycle? Ask your mind, what do I want to carry forward with this new lunar cycle? Checking in with the whole body now the whole body, the sex center, the gut, the heart center, and the mind. All four centers together. And from these four centers, draw forth an intention for this next lunar cycle. Condense this intention down to just one word. And recite this word to yourself four times. And then when you're ready, you can bring your attention back into this space, fluttering the eyes, adjust to the light. Welcome back. So we're going to use this intention that we've just created in our journaling exercise. So if you haven't already grabbed a journal, um, go ahead and do that now, or just a pen and paper, if that's what you have. And Go ahead and write your intention at the very top of the page. Um, you can have a nice, you know, script or have a little doodle next to it. Give it, um, give it some life. And then the exercise itself, what we're going to do is we're going to write in the first person as if we were one year from now at the end of 2021 and we're reflecting on this last year and as if you were writing to a friend write down what has happened to you throughout this year what have you left behind with 2020 and what did you bring forward with 2021 you can write about the emotions you can write about events um, people, thoughts, um, 
I'm gonna play a, a mantra. It's about seven and a half minutes long and that will be the duration of our writing exercise. And so when you hear the music stop, finish off your idea and I'll bring us back. So you can go ahead and get started. This particular chant is a chant to Ganesh, um, who is a deity who removes all obstacles. So during this time, we're infusing our journal exercise with the removal of all the obstacles um, of 2020 or of yourself that have prevented you from um, bringing forth that intention.
right, so if you're still writing, um, just finishing up your current thought or your current sentence. And if you're feeling really inspired and you want to get back to that exercise, you can always um, come back to it afterwards. Um, we're going to, in the same sort of light, do a visualization meditation. So I will guide us through the visualization. And what I'm asking from you is to bring as much imagination and as much attention to detail and color as you can. However, if it doesn't look like a 3D IMAX movie behind your eyes, um, that's totally fine. You're, you're still doing it right. Um, even if it's, you know, like a black and white, you know, old school kind of Hollywood film. <laughs> All right. So again, make yourself comfortable. Let's come back to that centered, smooth, cyclical breathing. Closing the eyes if they aren't already. This helps with the visualization process. Using that Samavritti exercise, the paired inhale and exhale that are the same length. This will help bring a trance-like mentality to the exercise and make the visualization that much more effective. Connecting now with the very center of the brow, the space between the brows, at the center of the forehead, your seat of intuition. We'll call this space your mind's eye. Gazing into your mind's eye, see the space beyond your eyelids, a black, infinite void where all possibilities reside. Gazing into your mind's eye, begin to unfold a landscape. The landscape of your future if your intention were to come to fruition. See the colors of this landscape. Feel the textures of this landscape. Perhaps there's sand under your feet or warm, cozy clothing. In your mind's eye, drawing the breath in, take in the scent of this landscape. An ocean breeze or a crisp mountain air. Smell of your lover's perfume. In your mind's eye, listen to the sounds of this landscape. A loved one's voice, live music. In your mind's eye, 
taste the food that you eat in this future landscape. In your mind's eye, see this landscape of your future where your intention has come to fruition. And see the silhouette of your future self against the backdrop of this landscape. See the shape of your body See the clothes that you wear. See this big, beautiful, radiant smile on your face. And bring that smile onto your present face. Feel the joy that your future self possesses knowing and experiencing this future. And bring that joy into your present body. In your mind's eye, See the silhouette of your future self standing against the backdrop of your future. And see the silhouette of a person who helped you arrive here in this future where your intention has come to fruition. See the shape of their body. See the clothes that they wear. And see the same big, beautiful, radiant smile on their face. In your mind's eye, thank this person for their help. Give them a hug, a kiss, a handshake, a high five, whatever feels appropriate for that relationship. In your mind's eye, see this future, your future self, and the person who helped you arrive there. And release this vision into the infinite black void of the mind's eye. Come back to your cyclical breathing if you've lost it. Coming back to the joy. The joy of your future self. And bring that joy to your sex center filling the pelvis and the reproductive organs. And 
Bring that joy to your gut, filling your belly. Bring that joy to your heart center, filling your heart, your rib cage. And finally, bring that joy to your intuitive center, the mind. Filling the whole body now, the whole body full of joy. Feel where your body is connected to your seat here in this present moment, in this room, in this body. Bring your hands together at heart center. We will close our ceremony and surrender our intentions to the new moon with the chanting of one Om. You're welcome to join or just listen. We'll take a preparatory breath first. Inhale, exhale. And inhale for Om. Um, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Thank you all so much for tuning in for this virtual new moon ceremony. Um, if you tuned in late or you want to watch this as a replay, um, I'll post it up on my page. The new moon um, reaches its peak at 8 a.m. PST uh, tomorrow morning. So you can always revisit some of these exercises um, throughout the evening tonight, tomorrow, um, up until tomorrow evening. That's where the uh, new moon energy will be most, most potent. Um, and if you're signing off, have a wonderful evening. I would like to um, just give you an opportunity if you wrote down or visualized during our ceremony that you would like to um, include a or prioritize a self-care or yoga or meditation practice in this new moon cycle or in this new year, I'd like to offer you the chance to practice with me. Um, so I have a yin yoga and self massage package and this is an online package that includes four classes. Um, it's a yin yoga style but it also includes um, Thai massage and acupressure techniques, as well as essential oils that you can use to complement the sequence. I'm offering this package uh, for purchase on my website, um, which is in my bio. And the package is $20 for the rest of the year. So it's on sale 50%. Um, and if you just want to have a bit more information on yin yoga or how to access the package, you can feel free to send me a DM and then we can chat from there. All right, we'll have a wonderful evening and thank you for tuning in. Namaste.